Folks, hey, great to see you guys. Um, thanks for um, putting up with uh, all this craziness here in this little channel that we that we have here in this um, uh, awesome guitar community that we're, we're developing on YouTube here. Uh, th that last video really kicked up some dust, I feel like, with kind of um, just a lot of stuff, a lot of different comments. And I got to say, um, I really, really, really do appreciate all the amazing comments um, and and positivity and the thank yous and all this stuff, man. I got to tell you from the bottom of my heart, that means a lot to me. And it makes me want to come back up here on a Sunday evening or a Wednesday morning or whenever it is that I have a minute to jump up here and just go grab the guitar and tr play something and uh, and talk a little bit about this this uh, adventure that we're on here with the guitar and with music and life in general. So uh, I got to say, I really, really do appreciate that. Um, and, it, and it just helps so much. And you guys are sweet. And um, and to add to that, I, I got kind of crucified on a, on a couple comments and just actually some really mean things as well. And I got to tell you that, um, you know, these channels are free. We all know that, you know, it's not about that. It's, and yes, we're doing this to advertise other things that we do because it's an amazing platform uh, to do that. Things that we do to help make us you know, a living and all that. But if you say something on here that is negative or any way or, or talking trash or anything like that, um, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to delete the comment and I'm going to block you because there's just no, there's no reason to, to have to deal with that kind of stuff. The people that are on here that really appreciate it and, and say really nice things and uh, that that's what this is about and, um, and and nothing else. And so we just don't, nobody has time for that. You guys don't need to be reading this stuff. This needs to be all about being uplifting and positive. And so um, I wanted to follow this up with um, a little a little video explaining a little bit. I had some guys be, say, well, yeah, man, you know, he's, he's talking about chords, but he's playing single note lead stuff, you know, and blah, blah, blah. So... It, it really is, it, I want to show you an example of what I'm talking about. And so this is, this is kind of connecting the dots a little bit. So if I'm playing out of a, a C-shaped E chord, here's the chord. Okay, I'm going to get into this as in depth as I can without wasting a whole lot of your time. But this is, this is the chord. Here's the triads in the chord. That's a proper 1-3-5 on all three groups of strings. The G, B, and E string. There's my fifth. There's my root. There's my third. Now as the inversion changes, the root and the fifth are still here. Now the third's on the D string. Now the root is here, the third is here, and the fifth is here. Now on these on the D and the A and the E string, the third is here, the root is here, and the fifth is on the low E string. Now, that's the chord information. Now here's the arpeggio. There's all the notes in the arpeggio. Now here's the pentatonic. Playing perfectly in tune right now. 
but um, that those are all the notes in the um, pentatonic. Now here's all the notes in the major scale. That's the, that's the major scale. So we're just, if you think of this in layers, the chord, the, uh, you've heard me say this a million times and, and the guys that, that are, <laughs> I've got nothing to hide here. So uh, it's not like there's, I'm not withholding any information or trying to take you down a, 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 the wrong path. Why, what do I have to gain from that? Um, you know, it doesn't matter. This is the way, if you want to be a versatile musician and learn the fundamentals that are applicable to every style of music, this has nothing to do with blues, jazz, country, rock, fusion, uh, whatever. This is just music, right? This is how we navigate through all different kinds of music. It, you don't want to, you know, this isn't, doesn't mean you have to play over every single chord change that ever happens, but this is a way to start learning how to really develop, you know, kind of go up the ladder in getting out of the pentatonic box and all that kind of stuff that, won't, that we want to be able to do. So with that being said, I'm going to show you directly what I'm talking about. Here's the chord. I showed you the information around the chord. Now, for me to sit here and show you a bunch of licks, it that doesn't mean any that that doesn't help you at all. Teach a guy to fish or give him some fish. This is teaching you how to fish. Um, if I, I I've learned a bunch of licks from some of my favorite musicians in Nashville, uh, and I don't ever use them because they only work over a certain thing at that time. So. Um, it, it's about building the vocabulary and knowing how to, to play, and this is the way to do it. So um, if I if I play um, if I'm to, to improvise out of this chord shape, here's the here's the backbone. So what I'm thinking of if I play this lick, that's directly out of the chord. That's because my hand position's right here. You know, I can play this, watch this major scale. My hand hardly moves. Oh, sorry. Right? So here's my E. Here's my A. Here's my B. Here's my E. Just take one chord shape at a time and learn some of the vocabulary, vocabulary around that. Right? Watch. Uh, and then you break it down. E, A, B, E. Right? It's right there. So to take that lick. There's the chord. Right out of the chord. Literally playing the notes of the chord. And then, of course, we're supplementing that with some improv around that. But it all just comes from that information I just showed you. So if I do this. Right. All that, right. Again, licks out of that chord. Um, I'm giving you. I'm just playing the licks to show you how they're connected to the chord and the information around the chord. All that is is a fancy way with some chromatics to get to. foundation uh, you know again i mean it, it, it's right there it really is i'm not this is not smoke and mirrors this is not hey sign up for my course and i'll show you uh, the real way you know th this is it and so i'm not trying to hold back so 
I just wanted to show you that little example. Um, you know, it's a Sunday evening, so it's not going to be a long lesson. I mainly just wanted to say uh, thank you so much for the comments. I really appreciate it. Um, if there's any negativity, you're out. Um, and, uh, and, and the point of, of this channel is, and, and I know this is not like the most earth shattering lesson here right now or anything, but mainly just wanted to say, um, this channel is, is not meant to be put your finger here and then put your finger here in, in these like, you know, um, extremely, uh, you know, um, literal lessons. This is more like, this is the path to go on to really learn this stuff. And it's it's more of like consulting and being like, hey, this is what worked for me. It's not to show you everything that I'm doing here because yes, I am trying to make a living uh, with the Artist Works course that is a two months of sitting down and mapping this stuff and out, out and going and filming it. And that's where that lives. And if you wanna do personal lessons and stuff like that, of course, I wanna do all that. But this is like giving you the path. Like if I say, you know, the, the cage system really changed my life. There's a million people teaching the cage system in depth that you can find on, on YouTube. But anybody that's saying, you know, that's trying to make this too complicated or too much about music theory and all these things that people are overthinking. I mean, I, the amount of overthinking I see on the internet is just absolutely unbelievable. But I can tell you right now, and I know I'm talking a lot, but this is important because that last video, it did good. And, and there was a lot of positivity in those comments. And so, um, I wanted to also say that, um, you know, the guys that I know that I've become friends with, um, Robin Ford, who used to live in my neighborhood, we've worked together on various things here in Nashville. And I watch his videos to learn some stuff and, um, and listen to his music and, and Uncle Larry and guys that I looked up to in this town, Jack Pearson and, and, and all these guys, Mark Knopfler, all the guys you know I love. I, that this is how they're looking at it too. If you listen to anything Robin Ford's ever said, he's all about chords. Uncle Larry, all about chords. And so um, I think I've said enough, but I just want to stress the importance. I know you can tell that that's a big thing with me and, and there's more of this to come, but uh, I appreciate everything that y'all have said. And uh, I read all the comments, even though I might not be able to respond to everyone in, in, uh, in person all the time, but uh, it does mean a lot. I really appreciate it. The guys that don't think that, that this is the, the right way to, to go, I mean, that's fine. Look, man, this isn't for everybody. Uh, I'm not a heavy metal guitar player. I'm not a, really a rock guitar player. And so if that's what you want to do and you don't think that what I'm saying is, uh, is beneficial to what you want to learn, then there's plenty of other channels out there. But I'm glad y'all are here. Uh, looking forward to a lot more stuff to come. And uh, we'll see you guys soon. At the end of this video, I'm going to post a little clip I took. I went to a really cool, um, I mean, this great restaurant in my neighborhood called Lachlan Table. They've been over, open for 10 years and their anniversary party was today, was, along with the Tomato Arts Festival in East Nashville, which is a big deal always. But I went over there and, and hung with some friends for a while uh, earlier today and uh, I took a little video just to give you an idea of what the neighborhood uh, scene is like over here. Uh, it's pretty cool. So put a little clip on that at the end of the video just to share some stuff outside the box. And um, again, thanks guys and we'll see you real soon. Check out the links below. I gotta say that. All right, later.
Chris from East Nashville, some of my good friends right here. Say hi to the YouTubers, Chris. Who? Chris Griggs right here, the YouTubers. Hey, what's happening? Yeah, man, little Who's slice this? of East Nashville right here. Is this going on the internet? It's going on the interweb, baby. It's just damn YouTube. Say hi, big fish. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Our favorite restaurant, Lachlan's Table, right here on the east side. A little slice of life. 